Oh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome back to Try to Fall Asleep Night 4. Here we come. We got our scary daytime monster that's haunting us now. I'm curious how they're going to switch up the whole sleeping sequence again. We had pills this last time on night three. Before that, we had the introduction of hiding under the covers. So I wonder if there's any, gonna be anything different here, unless it's just gonna be a chaos of trying to actually fall asleep. We shall see. But was that me just being rolled into a hospital room? Oh, it's so dark. Hey, Mr. Heron. Hi. So, uh, about that consultation. That was yeah. quite something, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, you really caught Dr. Norbert by surprise. His current theory is the hallucination you've been having in the daytime might be the amalgamation of your entire horrific experience on that island. But it could be just a byproduct of the other hallucination. It's just a byproduct. Or it could be something else. What? On the other hand, your memory recovery is phenomenal. The amount close of my eyes while this. is rapidly increasing. If we keep up the good pace, we might be able to check you out in about two days. Let's if you get your children and do better school. Check you out in two days. Promise me that you won't give up. Fine. Oh, those are hands coming for me. Oh, I have a flashlight now? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, <laughs> this is the worst. What is that? Oh, this is awful. Also... What? 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 What is going on? What is all this swoopy goopy <laughs> going on all around me? I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna ignore it. I think it's the radio going. Left shift to take pill. Should I take the pill? Yeah, sure. Chumpy chumpy. Tasty tasty. Okay, super sleep. Time for super sleep. Super sleep is all we need. Super sleep is all we ever want, all we ever need. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are we in that? Are we gonna get jump scared here? I'm just gonna keep my eyes closed. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed until it wears off. I feel like that's the best course of action. Yep. <gasps> ooh, ooh, hi. That was perfect, actually. That was perfect. We got a lot of sleep done there. We got a lot of sleep done. Please go away. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, look, the lights are back on. That's... Uh, something I wasn't expecting, to be honest. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Thanks so much. Time for another pill. Maybe not, and I didn't take the pill for some reason. It's cool, we're just gonna close our eyes, and we're gonna go to bed. We're not gonna worry about any monsters. What's up with the, the red lights? Huh? Wait, what's up with outside? What is going on? We're gonna go back to bed. We're gonna go back to bed. We're gonna go back to bed. Everything's gonna be fine. You know what? I, I actually appreciate <laughs> the nice red glow. It, it makes it a lot easier for me to see if there's any monsters. <gasps> Ooh! <laughs> if there's any monsters hanging around now. Okay, he gone. He going bye bye. He going bye bye. Okay, the walls are tearing apart again. Absolutely love to see it. Um, pill time. We're gonna go to sleep. We're just gonna hold that sleep. There we go. Super sleep time. Super sleep time. Oh 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 oh! oh. Close my eyes. Close your eyes, little man. And there's no more monsters for you. Oh, I had the flashlight on that whole time. Oopsie. It's it's midnight, and we're almost done with our sleep meter. It's going really well. Oh, oh, oh! There's a lot of you guys. There's a lot of you guys here. That's unexpected. Okay, you go away. And I see you over there still, I think. I think. No, he gone. He gone now. Okay, stress is down, sleep is up. Stress is down and sleep is up. We're not getting jump scared this time. Got like a pinwheel. 
that what it's called? <laughs> Little pinwheel. Got the monster again in our vision. He has real long fingies like Slenderman. Oh my gosh, our sleep is almost almost complete. <gasps> Ooh, you appeared out of nowhere, buddy. You appeared out of nowhere. I saw that. I saw that. The good thing about this game is it seems as though once like a major event like that happens, you can just keep your eyes closed for a long while. Is that Golem? <laughs> Lord of the Rings, Golem? Golem. Oh, our sleep is almost done. Let's just keep our eyes closed. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here we go, baby. It's Sleeptopia. <laughs> and I hear him next to me. Oh. We're dreaming now. Okay, where is chapter, I keep calling them chapters. Where is night four gonna take us this time? The cottage town again. So Ethan and Daisy are behind it all. What? Since when? I need to contact a station on an outpost to call for help. There's gotta be some long range radio equipment on this island. Okay. You mean the, uh, the peak? The giant, uh, hmm. watchtower? Yeah, inspect the watchtower, okay. Well, um, I don't like the fact that we're just roaming around here in the dark. That means there's probably going to be things that are going to be chasing us. More than likely. Or jumping out at us. Jump scaring us. All kinds of terrible, terrible instances. Appreciate the, uh, the little walking lights here. The lightning is a really good touch, by the way. Like, it's really cool. It's really cool. Give us that little bit of ambient light in between our journeys here. I actually absolutely love thunderstorms. It's always so cool to just kind of, obviously in a generally safe environment to kind of sit outside and listen to a, a thunderstorm and watch the lightning happen. I always get so excited when it happens. Uh, I live in SoCal, Southern California. So it's very rare that we get rain, let alone thunderstorms. But when it does happen, ooh, ooh, baby, it's a great time. What's going on with these pallets? I don't know if I should be running right now, but I'm kind of enjoying this relaxing moment here. Wait, where uh, does the path go up here? I'm a little lost, actually. Oh, it's over here. Okay, here we go, here we go. Got it, got it. I may have skipped a little section, but it's fine. Oh, are we gonna go into the bunker this time? I just remember, remembered that. But yeah, I remember I was playing through, it was either Resident Evil 1 or Resident Evil 0. <laughs> and in the middle of recording the gameplay, there was a massive thunderstorm outside. Um, and I ended up stopping what I was doing for the recording and I ran outside with my camera and started filming uh, Some of the thunder and lightning and my excitement for it. It was a uh, it was great It was a great moment and I spliced it into the, <laughs> the let's play video Okay, we can finally go into the watchtower What am I looking at? Well, the long range oh. radio is here But some of the parts are burned to shit. Uh, of course Damn it <clears throat> What do I do now? Obviously. Ooh. Oh, that might be Mark's radio. We need to find all the parts. John, please listen. It's all over. You don't have to be afraid of us anymore. It's the voice of the we robot. Aren't going to hurt you. Our main goal is done here. <sighs> Keep lying, Ethan. Both you and Daisy have done a really good job of it so far. Listen, Daisy and I are both assigned for two things here: eliminate the people who are dangerous to revival and test a drug. That's it. That's the truth. The test drug, that didn't go as planned, of course, but the people who needed to be gone are gone. And you, you were supposed to be kept alive for later examination. Hmm. Oh, so all I am to you is a lab rat. And what happens when I'm no longer needed for this examination? Failed experiments are usually disposed of when they are no longer needed. And what if you and Daisy had succeeded in drugging me? 
What if the drug killed me or drove me mad? I think it did drive him mad. You probably would have had to kill me. <clears throat> this is all in our head from the bad drug, probably. I witnessed three people die right in front of my eyes, and my own life was put at risk. After going through something like that, do you really expect me to trust you? Your life was never put at risk, John. There was no gas in that cottage. It was just a game to keep you occupied. Mm. While Tom was suffocating in his cottage. Listen, I told Daisy, let's just end Tom in his sleep. But she really insisted on playing that sick, sadistic game instead. Something is clearly wrong with her, John. That's why you mustn't cause any more trouble. So confused. <laughs> sure. I'll be a loyal minion of revival. And not cause any trouble. Listen, if you'll do anything stupid, or put the company at risk, we'll have no choice but to... Yeah, Eliminate me? You'll do this, or you'll do that. I'm sick of your lies and games. Good luck, Ethan. Have fun with Daisy. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out... Oh, God. Oh. I do hope that my signal can reach someone. Anyone out there. Need to make sure that revival doesn't intercept it. But before I do that, I need to get this radio equipment working first. Okay, so we're going to do an item the hunt. I'm assuming. Facility. Oh, we are That's it. <clears throat> I remember reading about this island. They had a lab in plain sight when the island was still a vacation resort. This radio might have come from the facility in the first place. I bet there might be some spare parts for it laying around there. It's worth a shot. Sounds good. Hmm. This might unlock the pathway to the underground facility. <laughs> you? Okay. Locate the under the entrance to the other underground. I know exactly where that is, actually. Funny enough. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was trying to mention. I've been trying to figure out for the longest time. Every time I hear him talk, I'm like, he sounds like someone, a, a, another voice that I've heard before. And I realized he sounds like uh, Christian Bale as Patrick Bateman <laughs> in what is that American Psycho? <laughs> and I like can't stop thinking about it now. <laughs> okay, research lab number six. Oh no, that's where we were. Um, oh, interesting. It actually doesn't show it here on the map of where the thing is. Watchtower is here. And the, the secret facility is either here or here. I, I can't remember which side of this. I think it might be down here on this end. I'm going to kind of walk down until I find the entrance. And if it's not immediately here, I'm going to turn back around. But man, oh man, it is incredibly dark. I'm trying to run through here. I can't see a darn thing. It's so dark. Like, seriously. What the... What the heck? Where is it? Okay, where's the signpost? <laughs> I'm, like, straining my eyes to try to... see anything. My goodness. Okay, I don't think it's on this end. So let's go back up. Let's go down the other side. That way I don't have to run across the entire island. Pretty confident. Pretty confident it's just going to be on the other end. I'm uh, kind of terrified, absolutely terrified that I'm just going to run into a monster. Uh, and it's just going to go... <laughs> and I'm going to go... <laughs> it's going to freak me out. It's usually how it goes. Uh, almost exactly. Wait, where? I swear it was over here before. Maybe it's just a little bit further down? Yeah, here we go, here we go! Okay, alright. The underground facility we go! Oh, no. Okay, so that's where we just came from. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan already. This is the worst flashlight imaginable. The worst flashlight known to man. <laughs> and the fact that you can't keep it straight in front of you, buddy! Just makes it a thousand times worse. Also, what's very interesting is we've been in here already.
in one of the this the dream sequences where we're just supposed to sprint and make it to the end in time. We were parkouring through all of these sections before. Oh, oh I hate all the noises that are going on here. <laughs> also, what happens if we just fall down? I feel like it's behind us. Oh, this is awful, guys. <laughs> I swear I hit jump and it did not jump right there. Okay. What am I uh, even supposed to be looking for? I know we're supposed to find the like radio parts or something, but uh, I, I don't know if it's like just going to be at the end of this or what. I just feel like we're venturing into uh, the dead man zone here. Like this is just going to become a... Descent into madness. Like, there's actually not going to be a radio here. Man, I've got some squeaky facilities here. <laughs> got to get the WD-40 in here and uh, fix it on up. Okay, so there's actual bottom of this tunnel system. That's cool. That's very cool. Is that going to break? No? No, there's no bottom, actually. Never mind, that was just that one particular section. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Jump. <laughs> Beep boop. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> it's already just, like, giving me chills walking through here. I really don't want it. Experience whatever's going on. Oh. Lovely noises. Absolutely lovely noises. I'd prefer if you didn't make those sounds while I'm walking through here. Yes, yes. That'd be quite nice. Quite, quite all right. <laughs> Hello? Anybody in here? Okay, is that the end of the, the walkways? What, what, what's going on here? We got some moss on the ceiling. <laughs> Disgusting. These noises are definitely getting closer. Oh, oh, oh! Shadow Man was running at me. He didn't stop though. He was just on his jog. He was just on a nice little jog on this fabulous afternoon. Uh, evening? Night? Nighttime? Midsummer. Afternoon. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know what time it is. We, nobody knows what time it is. I'm just walking. I could be sprinting. But then my flashlight wouldn't be facing forward and I'd have to be looking at a slight upward angle the entire time. I prefer to look forward and see what's in my surroundings. I see you. I see you. I see you. I see you. Are you going to run at me too? Are you going to sprint at me? You're just gonna stand there. You're just gonna stand there, aren't you? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's see how it is. Man, I, I couldn't imagine walking through a haunted tunnel system. This is just horrendous. Dreaming. Dreaming again? Deeper sleep? Speaking of deeper sleep, I know there's a game series called Deep Sleep, Deeper Sleep, and Deepest Sleep. I think those are the three things. It's like a nice trilogy. Hmm. The power is out. I should check those out at some point. I should try to restore it somehow. Restore power to the facility. Okay. Oh, how big is this facility? Underground facility, RL95. <laughs> Area under construction. You are here. Oh my gosh. Power room is straight and then to the left. So I gotta go past one, two, three left-hand openings. Simple enough. Also, I have five bars for my stress meter. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. There's one. Two. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, I hate it. Oh, I, oh, oh why am I crunching things? <laughs> What is so crunchy under my feet? What is gonna happen here? What is gonna happen here? How do I get to the power room? Power room. Oh, okay, it's over here. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Power room is this way. Are things gonna run at me here? I don't. I'm not quite sure. I understand. 
exactly what's going to happen. Um, but you know what? We're, we're just going to deal with whatever comes our way. Uh, power room, look at that. Stop it with the crunching. Dude. Something going to jump out at me? I'm not going to look left and right. I'm just going to focus on what's straight ahead, which is that bright, beautiful red light. Um, um, I'm sorry, where do I even go? Okay, let's go over here, I guess? Gotta love those haunting noises. Um, yeah, how do you work this thing? Ah. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I like that. Okay. Well, where's the where was the steer? Oh, it's back on that side. Oh, and it's broken. I wonder if I fall. Will I die? Should I test it right now? Maybe I'll test it. Yeah, let's test it. We didn't die. Congrats to us. Everything's a-okay there. Beep boop. Okay. Solid. Solid. Is that lava down there? What's what's going on down below us? I'm a bit confused on that end. Hello? Somebody here? Oh, I can't just naturally jump down. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, that one's already swippy swapped. Okay, here's another fall off point. Whee! Okay, this is the last red one down here, and then I can just go up. I can just do the upsies from here. Boop! Oh my gosh, I have to go so high up. Okay, uh, this way. This is the way. Let's go. So far, nothing's um, explicitly chasing us, which is good, I guess. And that's not going to last, I'm sure. But let's just keep on going. See how we can get through this. I'm going to go to the top one first. Because I feel like it's going to be much easier to jump down than it is to find and run up. What was that? What was that? I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't like it one bit. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> okay, okay. What are those noises? Why are you making those noises, game? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Why must you? Why must you make such terrifying noises? I'm breaking my ankles every day. Blah. Okay. Just one more. One more, and our power is going to be exactly where we need it to be. Uh, would it be easier if I go this way? Because it didn't look like I can turn around there. No, I can't turn around there either. Oh, weird. Okay, so wait, how am I supposed to... Uh, That's my crouch. My crouch is uh, <laughs> the tiniest little crouch in the world. Okay, I didn't expect it, but apparently this one is the hardest one to get. Let's go all the way around this way. All the way around this way. Ah, oh, yes. Walk across the tightrope beams. I should have expected this one to be the hardest. Okay, what did that do? There we go. Hi! That should unlock those motorized door locks. Now I could go look for those radio parts. Okay, collect the missing parts for the radio. Lovely. I see you standing there, buddy. I see you standing there. Who are you? What are you? What are you doing in my facility? <laughs> okay. Oh, weird. This is pretty cool looking, not gonna lie. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, I'm super worried. I'm super wor 
is that like a secret thing that I can interact with? Didn't expect that to do its old beepy beepies. Pulse pause on and off. System control panel. But yeah, we can get up to five stress bars, which is not making me feel good about this. Cause like, yeah, cause like what that. The hell, I should keep it quiet. <laughs> I should keep it quiet. Crunch. <laughs> oh boy. I do hope that if I die before I wake. I pray the Lord my soul to take. <laughs> Press and hold left control to sneak. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, I hope that if I do end up losing. I can't turn my flashlight off, interestingly enough. No, I can't. Where? What? What is going on? Do I need to sneak right now? What if I don't sneak? Huh? Hi, guy. Oh, he's gone. He just gone. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope it puts me back uh, post the current times. Post going through and turning the power on. That would be very nice. Oh, look, there's a piece right there. Is there pieces anywhere else? I, I don't quite understand. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think... Oh, no, no. I was going to say, it's not going to do anything bad to us until we actually grab the pieces like it did before. But the fact... The fact that they've already implemented a uh, sneaking system into this portion of the game... Makes me uh, absolutely think otherwise. Okay, I'm not going to sneak. I'm not going to sneak until I need to. Or until it's obvious that I need to. That's the whole goal here. <laughs> Capacitor, got it. And we need an amplifier, transformer, ribbon cable, and a vacuum tube. Oh, and there's notes. Okay. Perhaps the best way to explain oh. this cursed situation is here, to here start with the social integration project. It was our duty as scientists to find a cure for the poor souls that were afflicted by severe mental illness and to nurture them back into society. I always used to be against using humans as experimental test subjects, but this was different. It had a promise of a bright future for curing mental illness. However, revival. the road to hell is paved with good intentions. By injecting a series of our newly created drugs into the patients, our hope was to completely erase any signs of mental illness by resetting their psyche. As you might have noticed, the land above us had a secret purpose, which was to act as the final testing ground for integrating our cured patients back into society. After many tests and drug injections later, our first patient was ready to be sent to the surface. Hmm. To me, he seemed like a normal, happy, genuine person, but if that would have been the case, well, I wouldn't be sitting here in my last That's moments creepy. writing these pages. <laughs> <laughs> the face behind the picture. Okay. Interesting. So they wanted to try to cure melt mental illnesses. Uh, and then I think from what we uh, saw in some of the previous episodes is that the this whole place was a resort. An island resort for people to relax and hang out. And it was the job to once they had potentially rehabilitated the people was to then put them amongst all the others. But I don't think that actually ended up working based on what this guy's just talked about. Okay, I don't know what's out here. I'm gonna stay sneaky. Stay sneaky mode until figure out what's wrong. Maybe not. <laughs> what is this? Is this where I came from originally? I keep hearing noises and I really hate it. What was that? What was that? What was that? I'm not sneaky. I'm not sneaky anymore. Where am I? I don't know. 
Oh, light. Oh, crap. Not one of these again. Oh, we gotta go far. We gotta go really far. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay, this is this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Keep following the light. Keep following the light. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. See right here. Run, 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 run. Okay. Go, dude, go. Go, dude, go. Perfect. So sorry for the flashing lights. There's a lot of them. Ribbon cable. Cool. It's nice and easy. Put that down, and then we got a new note to listen to. Number three out of six. Let's see what this voiceover is like. What I'm about to tell you is something even I don't know the full extent of. During our first surface test, the reports indicated that everything was going as planned. Despite the early success, eventually we received a distress transmission from our observer that our patient had apparently snapped due to an unknown reason, hmm. returning him to his horrid mental state. I can only ponder at what caused it. He's got a knife! <laughs> Either something must have provoked a traumatizing memory in the patient's subconscious, or... or it had to do with our drugs. Probably the drugs. Shortly after, our underground facility was locked down as part of Revival's emergency protocol. The last thing we were told was to await further instruction from Revival. After a few days of radio silence, we started to question whether someone would ever come for us. Hmm. Interesting. So this this facility is obviously uh, much different. Also, I don't have a flashlight anymore all of a sudden. Or I guess just not in this section. Flee to the exit! Woo! Wait, what? Is there someone behind me? Oh my gosh! Ah! Ah! Go, go, go! Ah! Go, go, go! Go, dude, go! Oh, he's right behind me! He's right behind me! Flee to the exit! Flee to the exit! Never going in there ever again. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Why was there a sneak mechanic earlier? I, I still don't understand that fully. The lounge room. Let's go to the lounge room. Obviously, we can't go to the bathroom. Oh, we can go to the, go to the bathroom. Anything good in the ba- Don't do that. Don't do that to me. I just need to go pee. Oh, they got urinal cakes in here. <laughs> Shattered glass. Just, we're just going to the door. We're going to the lounge room. Interesting. Um, what are these? Looks like they set up a little music center with a small voice recorder and some standard speakers to play some music tapes. Anything that could make the isolation and boredom a bit more tolerable. Seems to be only one cassette available, and it's already inside the player. I hear the monster. Or whatever it might be. in there huh and I have no flashlight still oh now I have a flashlight oh I can't I can't turn it on and off while I'm crouched what wait what is what is going on is there nothing that I needed in here I'm a bit confused 
This is like one of the primary rooms, so what's uh, what's going on here? Also, there was just an indication that I could interact with something. Oh, 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 there we go. Seems to be the remains of a VCR player. Can I grab the tape? No, I guess not. Um, whoa, I can jump. Why can I jump so high? <laughs> This is bizarre. Um, huh. Okay. Maybe this is just like a little safe room. I'm guessing. Okay, well, let's go back out. Glad to know. I guess I can hear the monster when it's on its way. Oh, this is this is gonna be nasty. Oh, this is the door thing again. Yeah, close the doors. Oh, bye-bye. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, what, oh, oh, okay. I don't know what's going on in there. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. I really like the, the, like, Shadow Man. A lot of these have been really cool. A lot of the monsters. But just the shadow man with the glowing eyes, it's really freaky. It's really freaky looking. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, please, no. <laughs> that one didn't make a noise. Go, go, go away. Go away, go away, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Close it, close it, close it. Get out of here, get out of here, weird guy. There's so many of them. There's so many of them. Well then. Finally discovering the cells. Honestly, what's really cool about this so far, this chapter, is that we're finally kind of discovering why, or at least some information behind the, the cutscenes that we had from the, the very first game. And I like how they're integrating them into this of being like, oh, okay, we're actually going through and we're reliving some of these actual portions of the, the game that we're going through. All right, amplifier's done. Now we just need two more. Let's go and read our note four out of six. Let's Someone hear what this one's about. Each day felt like an eternity. Someone just entered the facility. I imagine this is what prison <laughs> what? feels like, but worse. There were only four staff members and six patients. Our supplies were dwindling rapidly and patients' conditions weren't getting any better either. The team of scientists I had once known quickly turned hostile towards each other. Fights over rations broke out and uncertainty about the patients grew stronger every day. Unfortunately, they showed no signs of progress. It's the glowing eye boy again. In fact, many were regressing. Their future would rest upon what the group was willing to sacrifice for them. With attrition starting to set in, we had to determine a course of action to ensure long-term survival. As far as what had been going on up on the surface, uh, I'm pretty sure the police had investigated the island at some point, but most likely Revival cooperated with the government to cover up their dirty deeds. Bastards. They were the ones who cast us into this awful nightmare. Now, in the eleventh hour, in this grim situation. It was up to me to find a way to lead our broken group out of this misery. Hmm. Okay. Also, why? Why did my guy write? As I was trying to read the notes, did he say that somebody just entered the facility? It's not cool, dude. Not cool. Okay, I have three out of five. I have five stress 
bars. Um, I think, I think I might be good even if I screw up these things to potentially get through this without a problem. Just gonna back up real quick. What do I do? <laughs> I don't know how close it is. Or truly, like, is it a line of sight monster? Is it purely a noise monster? Like, what actually happens with this one? Okay, let me look at the map real quick. Where's the you are here? There I am. Okay. So, done the cells. Lounge room. There was nothing in the lounge room. Whatever. We're basically going in a circle doing this. Water room. Have not been in here yet, to my knowledge. No, definitely have not been in here. Okay, so what's this all about? This is a massive facility. Is this a timed running one? Feels like it might be. Uh, actually, I'm not too sure. Stabilizing Raising water pressure detected. Please wind the water valves to prevent a hydraulic explosion. Hydraulic explosion? Excuse me. What? What? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got you, dude. Water pressure has been successfully stabilized. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Glad glad it was stabilized. <laughs> okay. Thanks. What's in here? Oh, is that it? Oh, that was pretty simple. What is this? Main report system online. Why? Okay. A manual for the main report system. The annotation reads, when turned on, the main report system will use the speaker array to periodically announce key information to the employees. The system helps to notify and keep all employees up to date. The system also has a post-blackout emergency mode, which will analyze and announce reports and other additional information about the status of the facility and the current situation. Interesting. Okay. Um, came here into here for a part, didn't I? Am I missing it? Is that all I... Main report system online. Wait, now I'm confused. Why did I come in here? Was it just to turn that on? I can't interact with this. Okay. Um, is something else going to happen when I go out here? There's got to be something else, right? There's no part. Uh, did I, did I, am I blind? Did I miss it? <laughs> Let me just double check on the, like, edges and ledges over here. No, oh, because it, it normally glows ever so slightly as well. Something special with this right here. No. Weird. Okay, so turning on that alert system probably leads us to do something else with this? Maybe? I don't know, it's a little bit bizarre, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I kinda wanna, <laughs> honestly, I kinda wanna see what happens if I run into the monster on accident. Well, here's my time to shine, I guess. Uh, 
Where is it? Oh, there it is. There he goes. Oh, it's the little long arm, long finger boy. Oh, you can hear the voice now. Oh, this that's cool. Oh, that is cool then. Okay, here's the other part. That's the transformer. Now I just need the vacuum tube. Okay, we're, we're doing really well here. We're doing really well. New note, let's see what this one's all about. Five out of six. What the current situation led to also, is- Also, who is talking in these? Something it's just that will haunt me till my last breath. In order to keep the remaining staff alive, a tough decision had to be made. The biggest problem was the patients. They were draining our already minuscule resources with worsening mental conditions. It was dangerous to keep them alive. Hmm. It became clear that they had to die. I hated that conclusion. Hmm. It was morally wrong for me to decide who should live or who should die. But the odds were against them and there was no other way. I fought for a quick and torturous death for them. No one was I able think I to understand. muster the courage to kill the patients directly. So... We sealed off the cell rooms, took the rations for ourselves, and left them to die. I'll never forget how the patients screamed and cried for help in the most horrific, deeply unsettling ways. Three days after locking them in, I could hear them scraping, banging, and breaking things in their cells. Listening to that made me feel like my this thing is right next to me, by the way. Off my bones, and I couldn't sleep for weeks. Is he gonna jump scare me while he's reading the note? This lasted 15 days, and then it faded away. It gained supplies that would last us a while, but it's right next to us. In the eyes anymore. Then. It was just us four left. <laughs> it was very lucky. Very lucky. <laughs> Moisture damage. Rut row. Um, they said that they drugged us. So we obviously had some type of mental issues. Uh, quote unquote mental issues is what they're kind of giving us at this point. Um, that's what the explainer is. And with that, maybe we're monitoring room. Maybe we're one of the, like the last surviving captives here. And for some reason, the drug only worked on us. You are here. I'm right next to the exit. Oh, hi. Close the door. What's up, buddy? How you? Oh, wait, come back. <laughs> page that's similar to Michael's pages, but it's signed by James Salna. However, it's badly damaged. Only a single paragraph has remained intact. We tried everything to get out of this cursed facility. Our last option was to try to crack the concrete around the main entrance, making the metal doors loose. Something about blackout doors or something for over 100 years? Uh, loose and bu crack, bust them out. Unfortunately, our hopes dwindled once we removed the plaster layer of the wall. There was a thick steel layer reinforcing the entire wall. With our resources, it would have been impossible for us to do any damage to it. The manual wheel lock was the only thing that would unlock the, metal, the main metal doors, but it was located on the other side of the door. Unless someone comes to save us from the surface, we're trapped in here for good. Strange. Uh oh, my computer's working in overtime again. Kill a patient with drugs. Too many doses required. Direct contact? Too dangerous. Lock them up? Safe. No confrontation. Small risk. But that's torture! These terrible, terrible people. Oh, look at us with our giant jumps! <laughs> I bet if the monster starts coming at us, I could just j jump right over him. Easy as that, you know? 
you are here. That this is a lie. They're lying to us. We are not here. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Whatever that thing is, it's honestly one of the more or least terrifying things out of all of this. 15. What is this? Hey, stop that. Another note. Let's close the door. Because you never know <laughs> what you're going to find or when the monster is going to come around. Forgive us. We were so close. No one had to die. It's our fault. Guilty. Forgive us. Revival, revival, revival. Terrible, terrible circumstances here in this underground facility. I don't necessarily think, though. Okay. Sorry, for, like I was saying earlier. I don't necessarily know. Storage room. I have it alive. Stop that, dude! I don't necessarily think. Oh, this is a nightmare. That we were part of uh, these experiments down here, but maybe we are a continuation of everything else. Okay, this is the last one. That's the last one. Time to get the hell out of here. Exit the underground and get back to the surface. Okay. Well, let's read this uh, fancy, fancy note first. Number six out of six. Do we miss one well, out of six? Can we only have five of no us? no one will be coming after all. This is the sixth and final page I will leave. My colleagues couldn't take it anymore and have all decided to check out early. Mm hmm So I am the only one left. My supplies are exhausted. And in all honesty, I no longer have the will to carry on. I did one last thing, though. I mustered the courage to go to the patient cells and put them in body bags. Hmm. Kind man. That was the least I could do for them. <laughs> After everything you did. After all, they were the ones who got the bad end of the deal. Somehow, right when the facility went into lockdown, I had a feeling that it would eventually come to this, but... I still had the tiniest shred of hope that I would see the light of day again. And that I could quit revival, finally start a family and have a kid or two. But, uh, unfortunately, that dream will die in somber darkness. In this meager time which I have left, my regrets lie within these pages. And I hope that someone will use them to bring justice to revival mm. who have escaped from it for too long. Power room is the place where I'll do it. Where I'll finally wake up from my torturing nightmare. This is my farewell to you, who cared enough to read through these pages. My dying wish is that what happened here and what we went through is never forgotten. The future of this story is now in your hands. Hmm. Goodbye. Michael Ocarell. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Oh. The power room. Oh, he jumped off. Dang. Dang. Yo, stop that. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. All the torture that happened here in these uh, underground facilities is it's a bit crazy. Also, whoever is the voice actor <laughs> that did all of the stuff for this is uh, for the notes. Very, very great. Very good voice. All right, now I need to find the exit. <laughs> where, oh, where is our exit? So where was I just now? Storage room. Storage room? Okay, monster's on his way, though. 
where exactly? So I'm oh, scared me. So I'm gonna close that door. Come in here. Got another note that we can read. A page that's similar to Michael's pages, but it's signed by Susan Migla. However, it's badly damaged and only a single paragraph remains intact. One of our last meetings was about determining how to kill the patients. We had to choose between starving them to death or drugging them with untested drugs. Drugs were one of the main options. But they required very high doses and their effects on the patients would have been absolutely horrific. Complete mental breakdown with the nerve system de degradation and purulent skin rash. Neither option was civilized, but in the end we chose starvation. Although it took more time, at least it required less of our involvement and it was the least horrible way to die. <clears throat> at least their last moments were not as gruesome as they would have been by using the drugs. This guy is right here! <laughs> Go away! <laughs> <clears throat> Sir! Please go away. Schmecko. <laughs> Seriously, can you go away, man? I'm holding the control button. I'm holding Crouch. You can't find me. <laughs> I think he's just really slow, so he's just kind of roaming through this general section. No, not the TPS reports. <laughs> okay, is he far enough away? Are we good? I I still have not fallen victim to any stress points, surprisingly enough. Um So like even if he does catch me, I think we'll be totally fine. Okay, okay. Crap! Where's the exit? I think it's just straight back that way. I don't know where the monster is, though. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, he's pretty terrifying! that. It is a lot more terrifying than I re reached the end. Alright, we're sprinting. Am I timed on this one? I don't know if we're timed. I don't know if we're timed. But I'm just gonna run like my life absolutely depends on it. <laughs> there was a... There was like a pillar. It scared me. <laughs> go, dude, go. Go, dude, go. Go, dude, go. Go, dude, go. I actually really like this it's kind of parkour section. It's pretty cool. I liked it the first time. I like it this second time. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Go, go, no. Go, I'm, I'm literally stuck. I'm panicking, absolutely panicking right now. Oh, the lights are going out. Oh, oh, go faster. Oh, I'm not gonna get stuck in the dark. No way, no way. Absolutely no way. Come on, faster, man, faster. Faster, faster, faster. Come on, come on. Come on. This is the wrong way! Oh. Why did I do that? Why did I jump off that way? I was doing perfectly fine beforehand. Okay, well, let's do it again. <laughs> I don't have a stress meter for this part, so I don't think it matters. I think all of the stress meter part has already been finished. This is just an escape portion. But this is a, this is a good fear factor of having to escape yeah, I mean, if it is the lights. It's a really good fear factor to try to escape before the lights actually cut out in front of you. Because otherwise, then, you're just... You truly are just running in complete darkness. And that's pretty terrifying. And you could... Okay, this is the worst spot possible. And you can just fall off the cliff super easily and be... 
jump scared by Mr. Monster. Go! Go, dude, go! I keep getting caught on, like, a singular step. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Don't go left this time, Jacob. Don't go left. Do not... Oh, wait, no, no. Th this one's left. It's in a later section. Later section. I think it's this one. Yeah, don't go left here. Don't go left here. That was a huge mistake. Huge, huge mistake. I'm not gonna do that either. I'm just gonna keep going. There's the exit. It's right there. It's right in front of us. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> we got this. Let's -a go. Don't ever go back there, buddy. Wait. I think you'll be comfortable here for a nice long time. Is the monster Ethan? No, please, John, you don't understand. You've got to let me out. She, she has the second key. She? You really think I can trust the person who most likely just tried to harm me? No. I think you'll stay in this cell for good. God damn it, John. I didn't kill a single person on this forsaken island. Nor did I attempt to hurt you down there. I just... I tried to get you to cooperate. No. You just wanted to have me under control so that I wouldn't do anything against your interests. Am I right? Am I right? If you would have listened to me on the radio and wouldn't have run away from me down there, we would have had a chance to talk things through. Listen. There's no monsters. It's all hallucinations. There is something seriously wrong with her. We still have a chance to take care of her. It's that syringe that she got stabbed with. Ever since then. When'd she get stabbed with a syringe? I'm worried that she might go further than she already has. There's nothing to talk through. I've heard enough of your lies already. Even even if that's true. I'll make sure that neither of you, or Revival, will kill me. So that's what you're up to. You're gonna try to call for help on the radio, and establish contact with the outside? Yes. And you think you'll actually succeed? Hasn't this damn company done enough already? How many people have to die and suffer in Revival's shadow? This is my only chance to put an end to this. Science has always demanded sacrifice. What do a few lives mean in the grander scheme of things? Think about the greater good, and think of all that Revival has already achieved. Huh. And you just want to throw it all away. Huh. Thankfully, Revival has taken precautions for reckless individuals like you, John. There's nothing you can do to stop the inevitable. Hmm. I've read your file. I know everything about you, John Herring. I'm the Herring? I'm sent here in the first place. I even know the final chapter of your story. Night 5 and 6? I know you Enough! Do. Don't you dare work. mention that ever again. I will put an end to this myself. Flashlight. <laughs> John, we're in the middle of nowhere. The only signal you'll ever receive on that radio will come from Revival. We'll see. Hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. All right, well, let's go back up to the radio tower. Head to the watchtower and fix the radio. Yes, yes, I know. That's what I'm already doing it, game. Don't you worry. Something terrible's gonna happen. Who, who's Daisy, truly? Like, I, these two people, we've, we've suddenly run into them. But like, when when was that exposition, exposition explained? I, I don't quite remember that, to be honest. Uh, maybe that's just me not remembering, but it just feels a little scattered still. C come on. There we go. <laughs> All right, we're in. Let's fix up the radio. Let's call for help. All right. Let's get this fixed. Let's see what we need from here. There. That should do. Let's see who's out there. Let's see who's out there. <laughs> this is a revival. This is Pine Tree Island. Go back Does inside. anyone copy? Hello. This is Pine Tree Island. Does anyone read me? Is... is anyone out there? Anyone! No one but Please. Revival. This is an emergency! Just like Ethan said. Oh. Ah! What's this? Revival OS. What?
Revival's emergency system. This is Revival's emergency system. Do not broadcast the signal again. Your emergency transmission was already sent. Revival is aware of the situation. Please do not broadcast the signal again. An Interesting. evacuation transport is on its way. This <clears throat> radio equipment will self-destruct in three, two, <laughs> He's just gonna one. blow up? <laughs> no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love it. Shit. That... That was my last chance to escape from revival. How the hell do they already know what was going on? Fuck. What do I do now? Time to wake up. Oh. Why did you lock up my partner, John? How rude. And did you actually try to call for help on that radio? John, I told you the only signal you'd ever get on that radio would be from Revival. Oh, and thank you, Daisy, for letting me out. Uh -oh. <laughs> you do know that contacting outsiders doing secret research is high treason against the company, right? Uh-oh. Does that mean they're going to chase me now? I'm afraid it's no longer optional to keep you alive, John. Yep, we're dead now. Right. <laughs> so you two are teaming up against me. <laughs> I do admit, you two make a really good team. Honestly. Despite the fact that one of you is trying to turn against the other. Isn't it right, Ethan? Oh. What's he talking about? Oh. What an act, John. Don't listen to that liar. He's trying to divide us and create a diversion. Of course, Ethan. Of course I'm lying. Why on earth would you want to ditch Daisy to work with me? It's not like you didn't beg to let you out. Just so we could team up against her. Is this true? What? No, no, of course not. You really believe that nonsense he's spitting out? Classic psychology. <laughs> well, all the proof was up there. Where one can see everything. The emergency system. When I turned on the power to the radio, the emergency system did too. Automatically locking the radio system to a specific frequency. When it connected, it showed a message, saying that it had already been used to send an emergency signal. Now it is possible that poor Mark was the one who tried to send the emergency signal first, but I feel like that wasn't the case. I think one of you might know better. Hmm. But if it was really Ethan, then, wow, Ethan lost confidence in Daisy really quick. Shut I guess... up! Daisy, let's not waste our time with this. If we want to kill him, we have to do it before they arrive. Daisy? <laughs> Uh-oh. <clears throat> what? No! I have faith in you. I've always had faith in you. You got scared. And you lost faith in me. That's not true. I, I... You couldn't handle what was going on. Do you believe something is not right with me? I think you're fine. There's nothing wrong. Your actions speak otherwise. I see. It's like weird howling from outside the window. That's why you kill him down there right away. <laughs> it all makes sense now. Daisy, listen. Do you know how it feels when someone betrays you? When someone turns their back against you, not caring at all for you? Come on, stop it. Where is this even coming from? Remember what we were assigned here for. We're supposed to work together. I want to talk, but my life, we're just, we're I've just been listening. pushed around and used like a doll. It was so hard for me to change. I always lack self-confidence and strength. But now, now it's different. I feel like I've broken free from the chains that kept me tied down for so long. For the first time in my life, I feel alive. Daisy, please, think about this. Uh -oh. I'm in charge, you understand me? I fight for myself, and I will not let anyone push me aside ever again. Uh-oh. Ever! What's going on? Stand in my way and let me move. Hello. 
She kill him? <laughs> just like that? It's like she took a giant bite out of him. Just <laughs> sounds like a nice crunch. Good, good morning. Good morning. It's daytime. No monsters today. Mr. Heron. Heron? Harry? It sounds like herring. I always thought it was herring until I saw the subtitles. Uh, interesting. Oh, 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 we're standing up by our bed now. Where's our psychiatrist? Who's behind us? Well, <laughs> to be concluded. Oh, very interesting. In the full release. Oh, no. I wonder when that actually will be. Okay, thank you for playing the early access of Try to Fall Asleep. We hope that you enjoyed the first four nights of the game that we've released so far, and hopefully you're excited to see what comes next. Working on this game has been an amazing experience for us, and we can't wait to dive deep into the last two nights and deliver a truly satisfying conclusion to the game and its story. The last two nights will be released together in one big update. When this full release update goes live, the game will tr uh, transition from early access to a full release. Everyone who purchased this early access version of the game will get the last two nights for free, and the game will automatically update to the full release version. Although we're currently going into full production with the last two nights, before the full release, we want to release one more smaller yet important update to add a few missing features that we weren't quite able to implement in this current version, 0.4.1. Please visit our Steam news page for more details. There are many great things yet to come, so stay tuned for news from us in the future. Follow us on Twitter. Thank you for your incredible support over the past years. We're getting closer and closer to the full release, and we're super, supper, <laughs> supper excited about what we have in store for the last two nights. A winky smiley face. Sincerely, the Amber Drop team. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's, that's all of the game that's currently released, as we just read together. Um, Night 4 was significantly longer. Memory of Joseph Petri. Great dad who was loved by his family. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh. But, uh, yeah, Night 4 was significantly longer than any of these other nights so far. Oh, look at the hand now. Oh, that's cool. Um... Revival. I wonder... Oh, there he is up there, too. I wonder if... Because they said that, that as of that current release, 0.4.1e, so maybe I already did kind of have that set up for myself as the proper one. But anyway, um, I like that. That was, that was a really good kind of implementation of kind of going through, getting a lot more exposition for the story. I still think... Um, Three, night three was really, really good in, in just kind of like the, the kind of creep factor. It got a really good scare out of me on that. Night four was really great too, because um, it really did kind of wrap up kind of what we've already experienced in a lot of portions of the game and kind of brought life to why they were in the game. So doing those like mini games, like I explained them or described them as before and finding out that they're all in the bunker um, and kind of finding this storyline of why there was this bunker, why there were these tests, and I guess the history behind Revival. And I know we turn on that radio like speaker thing inside the bunker itself. And I think that was giving us some context about things that were going on within the facility itself. Um, how many years it had gone on, things of that nature, which was kind of interesting. And I'm sure there's a lot more to pick up if you kind of explore through that because there were some notes. I was just terrified. I had to get out of there. Uh, but the one thing I will say is with the story itself, I think because this is early access and maybe all of it hasn't been kind of fully combined together yet, I feel a bit lost. <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm not the only one, um, but like Daisy and Ethan where did their story come from uh did i miss something <laughs> am i am i super lost is it just me i'm not too sure I, I will say the story how it's presented has been done very well so like the voice acting uh the way that you find the little pieces of story around the game have been great and then the that kind of performance at the end between daisy and ethan was really well done um 
and there's there's a lot of heart put into it but i was just like what is going on like when did we discover that ethan and daisy were evil uh, and like I'm, I'm i was lost i was lost at that point and I'll, I'll i'll admit that right now it could be just 100 percent on me <laughs> just being dumb just being a big dummy but um i'm not i'm not too sure but this has been great. I'm I'm super happy to have finally play through this. It, this has honestly been on my Steam list. I've purchased it probably a year ago. It's been a while, and I've just put it off and haven't had a chance to actually jump into it. And uh, I'm glad glad I got a chance to to run through the first four nights. And I'll, I'll have to kind of look up and maybe I'll leave a comment uh, on this video for people uh, just to kind of see what the updates are on the Steam page to see if there is an estimate on when the full game is going to be released. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear any thoughts and feelings on this. And if you're not already subscribed, consider consider doing so. Hit that bell notification. That way you know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you're not sick and tired of me, you can follow me on any of my other socials. So my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. I've got a Discord channel. A bunch of other cool things. Always linked in the description down below. Of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. Later.